All right, Will here with Into Mobile. We're here with Ford at CTI ASF 2010, and we're taking a look at the new Ford Sync, the app link feature in Ford Sync. And what that does is uh, it takes this uh, Sync right there, and it actually, uh, app link will communicate with your cell phone over Bluetooth to uh, control uh, mobile apps such as Pandora. I'm here with Chris. Hey, Chris. Thanks Hello. for being here. My pleasure. Um, we're going to take a look at uh, AppLink and Sync and um, see how it works over, uh, I guess, voice commands and uh, manual commands. Absolutely. We take the mobile apps that are running on your phone and through Sync's API, we can voice command and control them as well as using the vehicle's buttons to uh -huh. make it a safer driving experience. So to get started, all we do is press the voice button here, ask for mobile apps, then ask for which mobile app we want to execute. Check it out. Phone. Please say a command. Mobile apps. Mobile apps, please say a command. Pandora. Wow, so it'll just it'll just fire up Pandora just by uh, just by your voice command. Right, exactly. That's pretty impressive. And where where is this Pandora right now? Is it on in sync or is so it? The Pandora actually right now is running on the mobile phone. You'll notice here that uh, we actually lock out the phone's HMI while while Pandora is being used. So we're not manipulating the phone while we're driving, and instead we use the voice command and control in the vehicle through the voice button and the buttons on the radio preset. So this is connected over Bluetooth. Correct. So it's truly, yep. really hands-free and yep. no driver directions yep. or anything like that. This could stay in your pocket. This could be in your, your bag or purse. It could stay in the cup holder. Somewhere that's out of sight, out of mind, and we can do all the interaction through the vehicle. Uh-huh. I uh, will have to. Pandora, please say a command. Resume playing. Oh, there it goes. So that's playing straight from Pandora, live streaming over the internet and playing through the car speakers over Bluetooth. And Absolutely. all you had to do was just tell the car to yep. do that? Yep, this phone we're going to set here in the back cup holder and we're not going to touch it again for the duration of the demo. Uh -huh. All the interaction I'll be doing with Pandora will be through the car. My hands will be on the wheel, my eyes will be on the road, and my mind can be on the drive. Everything we do here is all done through voice commands or simple button presses here on the radio. Center. So it's all about safe driving? Absolutely. Uh -huh. We look at things that people are doing in their car, we say, hey, can we make that safer? Sync has, is the technology we can use to do that. Because of that, you know, things like mobile apps, we can actually enable people to connect to the things they want to in the car while keeping their hands on the wheel, eyes on the road. That's what it's all about. Great. So what else can Pandora do? We can play music. Is Great. there anything Absolutely. else? Absolutely. So all the stuff you'd expect to do through Pandora, you can. Until now, we can always play Pandora through Sync using Bluetooth. But until now, if you wanted to, let's say, thumbs up, thumbs down a song, play a different uh, station, you know, bookmark a song, you had to pull out the phone and manipulate it by hand. You had to unlock the phone, enter your code, go to Pandora bookmark the song, thumbs up, thumbs down. We don't want you doing that. So now the phone, again, stays safely tucked away. If we want to do anything with Pandora, say we want to, up, say we want to thumbs up the song. I like the song, I want to thumb it up. Uh -huh. I press the voice button on the car here, and at the prompt. Pandora, please say a command. Thumbs up. And Pandora will thumb it up, just like that. Oh, that's amazing. So it says it, it, it'll uh, interact, it's two-way interaction. Pandora Absolutely. interacts with Sync, and Sync interacts yeah. with Pandora. Sync, if I want to skip a song, I've got Sync buttons both here on the radio, as well as on the steering wheel here. All I have to do is Sync right, they can skip to the next song. The display will update to say skipping, and as soon as it brings down the data and catches it for the next song, you hear the next song coming right up. That's great. I don't have to touch the phone. Uh-huh. So, so uh, what about the, so you can also do that from here? Correct, yeah. There's skip buttons here as well as on the steering wheel. We prefer to use the ones on the steering wheel because it keeps your hands right here, right. your eyes out there. But again, you know, if you're a passenger and you didn't like a song, you could jump in and skip it here as well. Uh -huh. the important or over voice, right? Exactly, yeah. I can say skip, pause, play, resume playing, create a station from artist, create a station from the song, bookmark the song, anything you can expect to do from Pandora, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down. You can do it all via voice or via the car, and that's the important part. We don't want you going to the phone. We don't want you picking up the phone and manipulating the phone while you're driving. We want you to keep your eyes out there, your hands right here. We still want you to be able to listen to great music and come into contact with new music, right. which is what Pandora is great at. But we want you to be able to enjoy it in a safe manner. That's that's excellent. So that's Pandora, um, yeah. Sync, uh, AppLink, uh, talking to Pandora. Is there anything else that we can do? Absolutely. So we're right now when we launch our, our Sync AppLink, we'll be, the, we'll be coming out with three different partners. Pandora is one, as you just saw. We'll also be launching with uh, OpenBeak and Stitcher. Um, I have a version of OpenBeak here I can demonstrate as well. Yeah, let's check can, that out. Also, exactly. the Twitter, it's uh, super popular. So, exactly. Now, uh, right now, we, we can't tweet in the car, but we can read your timeline and, and retweet things. I'll give you an example. First, we'll quit Pandora. We'll press the voice button. Pandora, please say a command. Quit. And so now we've quit Pandora. Now, to go back into OpenBeak, I, again, I press the voice button, go into mobile apps, and we'll request OpenBeak. Bluetooth audio, please say a command. Mobile apps. Mobile apps, please say a command. Open beak. 
Okay, so open beep. The phone will acknowledge it here in a second. Oh, there it is. There it is. So okay, just the phone on. reminds you that it's still part of the equation here. Uh -huh. I almost forgot that we were even on a phone. We, just, we didn't even have to interact with any phones exactly. right now. And then the first thing it says is that there's no replies and no new direct messages. And there goes the panic alarm on one of our cars. I'm just going to roll off the windows here <laughs> so we can continue our, uh, our demo. Thanks. Not a problem. Got to make that nice and quiet. The uh, new inside of the new Fiesta is very quiet, as you can tell, because <laughs> um, that car is actually going blowing its horn right behind us. But anyway, so with OpenBeak, it's kind of more of an interaction. So instead of playing audio like the way Pandora does, it plays text to speech. It can take your your tweets or your timeline and it can read it to you through Sync's onboard engine. When you first launch, it says we have no replies, no direct messages, but I can ask it to read my timeline. I can do that by pressing the voice button and just asking for it. OpenBeak. Please say a command. Read timeline. Some of birds writes, it may be time to retire if you find oh, yourself cool. trying to impress right. employees with pictures so. of your genitals. <laughs> that's a good tweet. We may need to uh, we may need to cut that one out there, but uh, <laughs> you know, same thing. If I want to if I want to skip to the next you know the next tweet, I can either press the seek button here on the steering wheel or on the center stack. But if I press that, we'll go to the next one. The Detroit News writes, Michigan couple behind Stamus blackmail attempt for get four years. Wow, tweet that's pretty good. And it tells you all the information on the tweet, tells you uh, what it says and who it comes from. That's right. that's pretty amazing. Absolutely. Let's try one more. Press the seek right button again. The Detroit News writes, Snyder backs UM, while Bernero remains neutral for rivalry game. Tweet includes a URL from Depp.ws. So, oh wow, so it'll even tell ago. you that there's a URL. Exactly, and of course since today is the day of the big Michigan-Michigan State game, I'm from Michigan, go blue. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, it can say that, you know, here's what's going on, includes a URL from a domain, and um, you can go back and, and, and check it out later. Of course, if there's a photo, it'll also say it includes a photo. Obviously, we, we're not going to display that in the car, we don't want you looking at photos. Right. But, um, obviously, you know, you can always go back, you kind of have an idea of what's going on with your timeline. You can retweet things if you'd like, but as of right now, we can't tweet from the car, and that's something that's... that's a Safety issue, exactly. yeah. That's something right. that, that still will be, you know, remains to be seen. Actually, they need the keys here for All right, that's great. Well, that was a quick little look at Pandora and OpenBeak using AppLink through Ford's Sync uh, service platform. Um, so, you know, the voice command uh, controls uh, your mobile apps like OpenBeak and Pandora and Stitcher. Um, Chris, so are there any plans for any more apps in the near future? Absolutely. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to look at and partner with app developers who think they could really have a, uh, a killer app here for use in the car. Um, our current Sync website, SyncMyRide.com, has been updated uh, to SyncMyRide.com slash developers for those who are interested in getting access to our APIs, learning more about what Sync has to offer, and uh, potentially partnering with us to make their app Sync enabled in the car. We obviously want to expand as many people as possible, look at some partnerships down the road, and make the overall app experience still able to be used in the car, but in a much safer manner. Great. So that's been a quick little look at Ford Sync and AppLink. Thanks, Chris. You betcha. My pleasure.